everybody welcome back to my channel i am heather the confetti stitcher and we are starting off 2022 with a new vlog series so welcome if you have never been here before and welcome back to all of my regular viewers we are going to be working today on probably two projects depending on how much time we have it's already one o'clock since it was new year's eve last night we slept in a little bit since i think i stayed up till like three um, they posted the Magical Stitches homework at like 10, or I should say they posted the code word. And so what I decided to do was to work on, oh, and if you notice, we took down all of our Christmas decorations finally. Um, I decided I didn't want to do my new year new start because I always do that on the day of, or today, basically the first day of the year. So... I did want to start early though on something, so I pulled out, shocking, my <laughs> two wedding pieces and worked on Tiki Beach Sunset for the monthly homework. So all of the homeworks have the same code word for now, I guess you could say, the weekly, the monthly, and the yearly. Um, the monthly and the weekly will change. The yearly, I think we can post whichever code word as long as, like, whenever we're starting it. Um, but I should probably double check that. But anyway, I put in 823 stitches, I believe it was, last night. I was planning on going to bed earlier than that, but my cat got in my lap. And of course, you know the rule that you cannot get up if your cat is in your lap. And so I was, like, awkwardly stitching to the side. <laughs> While he was laying there, basically dead to the world. Um, that being said, we have pretty much the outlines of everything in the piece. And so I'm kind of really wanting to get it done. Um, this is the piece that is due for my cousin in February as her wedding. So I'm trying to get that done ASAP. Um, and is going to be used for all of the monthlies and probably some yearlies. Um, but that's going to depend on like the DMC challenges and stuff, I think. So let's see what we did. So like I said, you can see all of the definition. We have the turtle coming in right here. We have the boat, the tiki torch. There's some flowers down here, which don't have quite as much definition, but, and then there is a little sea star right here, but it's coming together. So the next color is going to be like a bright yellow and it's going to go a little bit in the flame. I think it's, I guess not too bright of a yellow. It's 19. So my plan for today is to work on this um, because it is tent stitch it needs 2,000 stitches instead of the 1,000 so but since we're already 800 in I don't think it'll take me too long and then I'm going to start Minerva so that'll be my new year new start so I will definitely start that today as for what time I'm not quite sure but we'll be starting off with 823, which is this dark blue. So, a little bit of a mix of colors today that I'll get to work with, but I showed that in my the fabric for that in my last one, but you're going to see it tomorrow anyway. So, that's all I have for you guys for today. We are on our way to go get paint for the baby's room, and we'll probably paint today. Um, so I don't know how much, like I said, how much progress I will get, but we will see you tomorrow. So I'll check in with you then. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Sunday the 2nd. It's about nine o'clock at night and I'm finally sitting down to stitching. Long day, taking down all of the outdoor Christmas lights and painting the baby's room. <laughs> still have a long way to go in there but at least progress has started um 
but at least finally all of the Christmas stuff is down and we have a lot of appointments coming up. Well, I should say I do, but so not as relaxing of a January as I usually have, which will be great when the baby comes because yeah, <laughs> don't see any relaxing happening then either. Um, so yesterday I did not work on Tiki Beach at all. I thought I would have more time, but getting the baby's room ready and I don't even remember what else I did yesterday. Just long day. <laughs> we did take down some of the Christmas stuff. Um, we took down all of the, um, like outdoor animatronics or like lawn ornaments and stuff we had, so... <clears throat> and doing that basically took up all of my day. Um, plus, actually I'll show you first. I put in all of the first color of, totally blanking on her name, Minerva, uh, which is 823. This is 508 stitches and I needed 500, so, but yeah, I just put in those last few. So we have her outline, you can see her hat and then her dress, and then like the outline of the main part of her dress. So this took a little longer to do simply because it's a paper pattern, which is taking some getting used to, because um, I don't mark off my patterns because I just work off the original. Um, but with these ones, it's, it, it's easy, so. But the Oh, but that, plus doing the outline of everything, took a little bit more concentration, so it took a little bit more time. Plus, I was super tired, so here she is. It took me until about 3 in the morning. <laughs> I need to get back on a regular sleep schedule, but anyway, we're going to start on Tiki tonight to work more on the monthly, and I will check in with you all tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Monday the 3rd, and it is almost 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and I am going to stitch for a while. I have a busy day today, but some of the stuff, like pretty much everything we have to do is stuff that I get breaks from. Like, we haven't had a working kitchen sink in, like, weeks. <laughs> um, sorry if you could hear that. My hair keeps getting caught in my AirPod. Um, yeah, our sink, like, totally stopped up before Christmas. And in order to avoid those holiday fees, we waited till after. And the plumber came and needed to go up on the roof where our outlet thing is to snake, but couldn't do that during the rain. So we had to wait for the rain to stop. And then he finally came back today. So we have a working sink, which means we have tons and tons of dishes to do. So I have to kind of wait in between cycles, which is kind of now, but I have to wait for them to dry. So anyway, um, I'm gonna stitch in the interims. I put in almost 600 yesterday. I think it was like 592 or something like that. Um, all in two colors. I think I did, well actually I know I did 555 in a yellow. And then because 10 stitches count for half, I didn't want to leave it on an odd number. So then I found a small odd number color to fill in the rest. So mostly it's this color that went in. Filled in a lot of these spots here, started filling out some of the tiki torch over here, and then I came in with a green that just so happened to be up here, and then came down here a little bit for 37 more. So it's really coming together. I'm gonna work on enough colors today to finish out the weekly homework, no sorry, the monthly, the first monthly task, 
then I will pull out Hocus Pocus because that will be used for a yearly and that color is called this week. So I'm going to do that and check in with you all tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Tuesday the 4th. It's 5 o'clock at night and I'm about to start stitching for the day. I did get my hair done today, in case you couldn't tell. Surprisingly not as expensive, but I didn't do all the crazy, like, highlighting and all that. Anyway, yesterday I put in the 500... I forget how many it was. 506? Nope, not even close. 582 stitches that I needed for my weekly... No. My first monthly task to finish up the technically 2,000 stitches on Tiki Beach. So here is that. So we're putting in this dark green right here, which will fill in the rest of this and this. And... The other color I did, took me a minute, <laughs> was this, um, one of these darker, like, orangey, brown-ish colors. So that is that. And then I sort of got this on the frame, but loaded up Hocus Pocus. It's still pretty loose, but since I'm only putting in a hundred some odd stitches, I mean, I'm going to work on this all today, but since it's already kind of late and this one's a little more difficult to work on, I didn't bother doing the full, like, trying to tighten everything completely. So I'm going to put in the three, what color is it? 3362. So it'll be this green color and it's going to go in down here on her collar. And I'm going to put in... All the stitches because there's only 117 so well i think i'm going to put in all the stitches um but at least do the 100 that i need to do the dmc challenge and then this one comes back in week four of january so basically as many stitches as i can put in today i will then i'm going to call it and go back to tiki beach to do another set of monthlies so I will check in with you tomorrow and show you my progress. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Wednesday the 5th. It's 5 o'clock and I'm about to start stitching for the day. I do have some work I have to do later, but I have to wait until it's later in the day when my students are not on. Um, but we're going to work on Tiki Beach today for another monthly task, which will be another thousand stitches or 2,000 on this one. I'm really hoping to finish it soon, but we shall see. I put in 330 stitches yesterday on Hocus Pocus. Um, so I will show you that. So we put in these green ones for the DMC challenge and put in another color of brown which defined her eyes a lot more, a little bit on her lip, and then basically around her hairline and a little bit up in her hair. The way I'm stitching this one is basically just taking the next color in this area um, and stitching until it runs out. So kind of a modified um, Stitchy Mommy method. And then the next color will be this one, which is going to fill in a lot of the hair and we'll put in a lot up here. So that's where we're going to leave it for a little while and I will check in with you tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Thursday the 6th. It's three o'clock in the afternoon and I had less work than I thought I did today. So I'm going to start stitching. I put in a thousand stitches last night, 
And so I'm going to try to do another thousand at least today. And then that will finish off another monthly homework. And then I will, if I do finish that, then I will switch over to Hocus Pocus and put in more of that for the yearly. And then probably tomorrow I will start Tiki again for the monthly homework of the 2000 stitches, which like 2000, 4000, 10, um, which will be the last monthly that I can choose. And then I have to put in 1300 stitches on my newest project, which will be Minerva. So here is where we are at. Added a lot of this brown in here, which took a while because I messed up somewhere in here. So I had to try to, to fix it. But this is the 435 which is this color and it's going to fill in a lot of down here as well. So this was the largest color I'd left, which was 1400 and something stitches. I don't remember how many, <laughs> but after this, we have a couple of 800 stitch colors and then a lot of little ones. So we actually finished a lot of colors yesterday because there was like one stitch of black up here and finished out that dark gray and finished out a green, I think. But yeah, it's coming together and it's looking really good. So I will check in with you all tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Friday the 7th. It's about noon. <clears throat> and I'm going to stitch for a while in between working because I don't have anything I can do immediately. So I put in the thousand stitches I needed on Tiki Beach and I put in hundred I think 182 stitches on hocus pocus so I'm gonna show you those so here is hocus pocus I added this gray basically that took up a lot of her hair um, and it filled in some of her hair over here as well and then Tiki Beach I basically just stopped the thread because I was right at the thousand mark. Put in a lot of the yellows here along the trunk. I should say a lot of this yellow. And it filled in, this is going to be a turtle eventually, but it filled in some of that. And down here as well, so. This one I think has like 200 more stitches of this color. But <clears throat> I just need to figure out which one I want to work on. Probably this one. And I will check in with you all tomorrow. Hey everybody, welcome back. It is Saturday the 8th. It is 11 o'clock in the morning. And I'm going to stitch for the day. I put in 1,248. 42 stitches yesterday. Um, we're currently almost done with one of the 800 stitch colors and then we're gonna start another one and there's three sets of them so if we can get them done today that'd be great um we're at 91.76 percent done we have about five thousand stitches left i think a little less so basically what i'm going to do is i have to stitch four thousand stitches for the monthly homework which will leave me with like 1700. So what I'm going to do is stop there on this project. And then at the end of the month, I'll use it for one of the weekly tasks, which will finish it. And then I'll have about 300 stitches to put into camp, um, lakeside. So the next couple of weeks, because I put in so many on this, will end up being projects you guys haven't seen in a while. Um, next week we have 
fairy tale and Celtic wolf coming up. So those will get some love. And of course, Hocus Pocus will continue to get worked on to finish the yearly task. So let's see what we did. So you can see it's really coming together. Got a lot more on the turtle and the canoe. We still have a lot of this bottom part. We'll get more stitches put in. You can see the starfish is taking shape. And the tiki torch is almost done. Yeah, we're just gonna continue to work on this today. I have my stitchy group starting up right now, so I'm gonna join that and I will talk to you all later. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Sunday the 9th. It's four o'clock in the afternoon and I'm about to start stitching for a while. We have to go to the grocery store later because my husband doesn't believe in grocery delivery. Anyway, <laughs> um, I put in 1,928 stitches yesterday. So we basically finished out the three 800 stitch increments. Might have only done two yesterday. I think we did. I think we like finished off one and then did two, but. And then we. Our next largest set is like 340 stitches. So we're really getting close. So I have 830 stitches that I have to do today, 830 tent stitches, to finish out the monthly. And then what that's going to do is leave us with, I think like 1,700 stitches to finish the project. So more than likely what's going to happen is that the weekly homework we have coming up starting tomorrow is... Celtic Wolf, and then the DMC color we have coming up is 80, sorry, 3852, um, which I'm going to put on Fairy Tale Bookshelf. So, definitely Celtic Wolf, Wolf will be coming out first, but more than likely what's going to happen is I'm going to, even though it's going to be hard, <laughs> I'm going to save, <coughs> excuse me. Save this project after I finish the 8.30 and put it into the fourth week because that's to stitch on your large, your project with, with the most stitches put in. Um, so I'll finish it out then and then put the rest of the stitches into campfire, or um, campfire, lakeside, and then because that'll be my next project that has the most stitches put in. My plan is to try to still focus on those, or st focus on that. Um, but it doesn't fit any of the other prompts. The lakeside doesn't, so... Once I get in the Celtic Wolf stitches and the 100 stitches on Fairy Tale, I'm going to go back to Hocus Pocus to put in the, to try to finish out that yearly task. And then that's kind of how I'm gonna do it is every yearly task will just be the 2000 stitches I need to finish out that DMC color, or to finish out that bit of the project that the DMC color is in. So the next the yearly project will be fairy tale. I don't think I'm going to, Actually, that's right, I do hit Hocus Pocus again in the fourth week. So the fourth week is going to be like basically finishing stuff up. Um, or not finish stuff up, but like finish the tasks. Um, because the week after next is all going in, both the weekly homework and the DMC color go in on museum shelf. So this is the only week where... There's probably going to be a lot of project changes coming up, but I'm going to go ahead and do the 8.30. I will film again after that's done to show you guys, 
and then I will end this vlog series um, and start off the week fresh so you can see what I'm working on then. So I will see you guys in a little while. That's a lie. I didn't show you guys the progress I made yesterday. So you can see I filled in quite a lot, especially over here in the the canoe boat thing. Um, I guess it'd be a rowboat. And then I added some more to the tree. So next I'm going to start in these areas up here. Um, so we're going to be seeing a lot more bright colors. But yeah, it's getting exciting. So I will see you guys later. Hey guys, I'm back. It is midnight, 12.01 to be exact. And I just finished a filling right out my journal right or my planner right for the week. Down. Well, finishing out this week. I'm still going to put in my stuff I need to do for next week. But I finished up the monthly task, so I only have one more left, which has to go in on Minerva because that is my newest project. And that was the only monthly task that had that stipulation on it. Or that, I guess not really a stipulation, that had that requirement. So this week I did a total of 7,094 stitches and if you count them for as full stitches I've done 3,803. So altogether I'm already at 90, not 90, 9,020 stitches for the year and 5,019 full stitches. And next week, like I said, we're going to be seeing Celtic Wolf. We will be seeing Minerva, and we will be seeing Fairy Tale. And possibly Hocus Pocus, depending on how long all that takes me. Um, Minerva does take me a little bit longer because it is full cross, and even though I stitch it sewing method in hand, it's a paper pattern, so it's taking me a little bit longer to do that. But we have the new code word, so I'm going to write that down and hopefully remember to put it on my project pictures <laughs> for starting tomorrow. I do have a reminder in my planner, but I need to put in my tasks for next week before I start doing all of next week's stitching. So, so far really good progress. I will finish the monthly next week. I will fit probably within the first couple of days because Celtic Wolf is only 500 stitches, which is my weekly goal. Um, and it, what was I gonna say? Oh, and it's full cross. So it's actually 500 stitches. And that one I can use Pattern Keeper for, so. More than likely, we'll be seeing a lot of projects next week. For so this week, I will show you my ending point for Tiki Beach, and then I will see you all in my next vlog series. So I have about, well, not about, I have exactly 19 stitches left in this color, which will fill out the rest of this part of that leaf, but we got more fire put in. All of this part is done. This entire area got filled in. And I think that's mostly it. But yeah, excited to get back to it. But at the same time, a break will be welcome. But I will check in with you all in my next vlog series. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far and I will see you all next time. Don't forget to leave comments if you have any questions or comments, naturally. Like and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you all later.